in there, followed by 120 decimal 8. Lansing, November, you're breaking up on route. We'll say again, you're, what's the problem? Uh, uh, yeah, you want to start listening to it? Should we listen, yeah? Yeah. Returning to land at Shell Harbour. Lansing, November, I'm doing it through the terminates. Uh, only traffic's off the coast at that point, 3,800 loitering. All right, here's Terry Hills, uh, radar. I'm not sure exactly what St. Ives Showground looks like, but it should. Uh, to be honest, I'm not sure. I haven't isn't, seen isn't it that in here? I thought it was a, a, a round circle. I thought I saw it before, but yeah. I'm a bit confused now. Well, it I must be this over here, right? Well, I think we're straight overhead because there I can see a circle. Okay, so should I start descending and turn for uh, long uh, reach? Not descending, we're at 1,500. Oh, you're right. Stay yeah, yeah. at 1,500. Right. Fly a little bit further to the left, gives okay. you a little bit more time, so we overfly in Narrabeen okay. Lake. I see. That's Narrabeen Lake, and Long Reef is. Uh, uh, it's just because oh, you can't really see it from okay. here, I believe. Well, it's a nose out, and I think the nose out is. That one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But it's easier if you come a little bit uh, to the left and then as you turn, sure. yeah, I'm pretty sure it's that nose there. All right. Well, oh, we're already 1,500. I see what you're saying before. One nose yeah. sticking out, All and right. that's Long Reef. And do I want to call them at Long Reef or before Long Reef? Before, definitely okay. before. So So I'm saying uh, Sydney Terminal, Piper Arrow, Charlie, Echo Zulu is uh, one mile north of Long Reef. Approaching, or Harbor approaching, approaching Long, Long Reef, 1,500 feet. Yeah. Well, it would be from the north at this point if we're turning... Okay, well, right. up to you. All right, you sure. make, wherever you make the call. 1,500 yeah. feet, uh, request Harbor Scenic. Yep, okay. and you can mention that with uniform. Oh, yes, with but uniform. But I don't think a lot of people do that, so don't okay. worry. So, uh, make sure that you're yep. on the right frequency. Would you like me to call now? I think now is a good time. All right. Sydney Terminal, Piper Arrow Charlie Echo Zulu is approaching Long Reef from the northwest, 1,500 feet with uniform. Request Harbor Scenic. Charlie Echo Zulu, Sydney, you're going to stand by. Squawk uh, 3434. Squawk 3434, Charlie Echo Zulu. Charlie Echo Zulu, there's already two in the uh, zone at the moment and there'll be short delay to your um, zone flight. If you'd like to kill some time heading north to Baron Jelly and back, I'll call you back when, as soon as we can find a gap for you. Sounds good, thank you. He is so friendly. That's very nice. Yeah. <laughs> it's beautiful. Look at this. Wow. Okay. So do I want to stay over the water then? Yeah. On the right. Yeah. yeah. So keep your ears peeled. For, for Victor One. Oh, we should probably be listening to Victor One. Yeah. So no, actually, we're, this is not Victor One. Um, contact center one three five decimal. Correction. We should be maybe listening to this one too, but I'm a little bit worried about missing his call. Yeah. Me too. So this is not Victor 1, it only starts at Long Reef. I see. Sorry. Uh, uh, don't be sorry. So let's keep now, water. Which one's Bear and Joey? Uh, I'll point it out. Okay. It's, um, so that's, there's pit water. And pit water, the water there, okay. So it's the very northern point. Can you see? I think that's Lion Island there. That the island, yeah. yeah. Looks like a sphinx. Looks like what? Oh, it does look like a sphinx. sphinx. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's beautiful. And Baron is where the lighthouse is. It's really at the very northern. Tip. Yeah, I've been there, but I don't know the geography super well. Oh, have a good lookout and really don't worry about map reading. All right. Sounds good. I will enjoy the view. Yeah. I've never flown above water before. Besides prospect. Yeah. So what's your altitude? Not right. A little bit bumpy, so yeah, it's a bit of workload. Oh yeah, good lookout here for uh, traffic. other traffic. Yep. Three, two, four, ten point eight. Traffic scan. A little bit too high still. So, oh, and uh, do you have a plan when to change fuel? I'm just trying to remember yeah, when we. Five eight, I guess. Okay. 
Uh, we won't do it when we're in the middle of the harbor. Yeah, let's not do that. Just that we keep a track of the fuel. So that's last beach there is Palm Beach. That's Palm Beach. Yeah, okay. also tourists call it Summer Bay because that's from, uh, what is it, May, no, not Neighbors, Home and Away. Is, <laughs> is that right? Did they, shoot it, did they shoot it there? It's, yeah, okay. it's set yeah. there. Yeah. And uh, whenever I flew with someone from England. Yeah, yeah, they love that's Neighbors and Home and Away. Yeah. What? That's, yeah. that's Summer Bay. That's hilarious. <laughs> okay, no, it's Palm Beach. Palm Beach, yeah, I've been there. And I think uh, the one before is Whale Beach, and then something must be a beam Avalon where that cluster started. Yeah, in January. Uh, you really can uh, turn around and start heading back to Longreef when you're ready. We'll go, Charlie Akazoo. Yeah, good. Well, times have changed since I started flying Charlie Echo Zulu. Yeah? <laughs> There's a 90 contact center, 133. Were they five, not five. as nice previously? Uh, if you report in Mike Julia Tango, that's the troublemaker usually. Say it again? What? That's the troublemaker usually, Mike Juliet Tango. Oh, why? Uh, because it's just students going by themselves and calling oh, I havoc. See. Making A380s go around. I see. So I should stay out over the water, huh? Yeah. Okay. So just yeah, 180, that was either way, but I was happy to do it over the land. Yeah. And I think the ADSB also helps because he can see us on his radar. He sees Charlie Echo. Oh, yeah, it makes so it, it easy all for him. Matches. Yeah. We're on time. You're yeah. doing, making good calls, so. Okay, good. Now, Long Reef is. Uh, no sticking out. So the one far out. Yeah, the one far out. So, straight in front of us? Straight in front of okay. us, yeah. So I'll call him again when we're approaching it. Well, I would hope that he, he may tell us. us. Yeah. From Long Reef to the Harbor Bridge is 212. Oh, it's a good one, yep. Yeah. And we're going to the Harbor Bridge, we're doing two orbits to the left, and then back to Sydney Heads. Yeah. It'll be easy to navigate. Okay. So if he hasn't contacted us before Long Reef, I suggest you just do an orbit because it's really up to him to contact us now. I see. So an orbit in this water here. Yeah, okay. so just go, yeah, but we still, so... We still got time. Hey, 40 heavy departures, good day. Say again, altitude passing, please. You can get actually one, two, three, zero already. Uh, what's that for? One, two, three, four. Oh. We're traffic at Manly, northbound coastal, leaving the zone. Contact departures, one, two, three, zero for clearance. Contact departures, one, two, three, zero. Uh, Roger the traffic, Charlie Akazulu. Beautiful, one, see, one, two, three, zero. Thank you, you were ahead of me. Okay, uh, no. that's good. So okay, I see Charlie Kozulu at Long Reach for Harbor Scenic. Uh, Sydney Departures. Sydney Departures, yeah. Yep. Okay. Sydney Departures, Charlie Kozulu is approaching Long Reef for uh, Harbor Scenic. Two in together. Qantas 922, where are you calling? Qantas 922, uh, heavy, we're passing 2,300 km to 5,000. Qantas 922, heavy departures are identified. Climb via Super Flight Level 280, cancel speed restrictions. Super Flight Level 280, cancel speed, Qantas 922. Do you have to copy to you? Uh, can't see the traffic. Back at the sound yeah. tracking northwest, thanks, at 1,500 feet. We'll track northwest, Julia Hotel, at 1,500 feet. What, what you, I... you again? Okay. Say it again. Yeah. Charlie Akazulu uh, is approaching Long Reef for a Harbour Scenic. Charlie Akazulu, departures, clear the Harbour Scenic 1, QNH 1019. Clear Harbour Scenic 1, QNH 1019, Charlie Akazulu. Charlie Echo Zulu, Juliet had X rays at Cherokee about five miles due south of you, 1,500 feet. They're just starting to track towards the northwest, now vacating the zone. Oh, Roger the traffic, Charlie Echo Zulu. Do you see them? No, uh, but they're five miles. You usually can't see five miles, so don't turn too much. Uh, yeah, that was too much, sorry. Yeah, you're right, you're right, there. sorry. Look I don't out. see it. Look I don't up. see it. Uh, where's the center point tower? Uh, there. There and look out, yeah. So just go to that. Just go to that. All right, that's easy. Won't be There's a lot of wind. Away. I see. Yeah. Yeah. Look outside. Look where you're going. It's easy. 
I will relax now. Yeah, okay. please. You're doing a really good job so far. It's everything textbook. Good, thanks. Well, I can't see them. If they are coming out of the harbor, then they should be overflying manly, so they should be on our... Yeah, our traffic about two miles to the uh, southwest of Yenel, 1,500 feet. Looking for traffic, Charlie Akazulu. So two miles. Charlie, at total extra, your traffic is about two miles to west. You're now tracking southbound 1,500 feet. You should be well clear. Your control and your identification services are terminated. School code 1200, frequency change approved. This is Manly here, right? That's uh, Manly, uh, yeah. Uh, 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 they should be just be on that at all. Connors 922, call approach 1359. 1359, call us back, thank you. Connors 993, contact Melbourne Centre 1250. Centre 1250, call us 993. Bugs me. I'm not worried that we're hitting them, but it's just yeah, <laughs> it I don't bugs me. <laughs> I yeah, I don't see, see them. them. Yeah, and they they must be visible. Ah, there's the um, upper house. And can you see the bridge? So go oh, there it is, yeah. a tiny bit further to the left. Supposed so to stay between the bridge and the uh, and north the of the upper, upper house, house yeah. this side of the bridge. Yeah. Okay. So that is easier to do eventually when we're there. We go to 20 or less inches, slow it down. Yep. And then it's easier to fly a tight circle. Sure. Ah. We should have passed them by now, right? Yeah. Two miles. Well, I just hope she won't say it again. It would be so embarrassing. Yeah. Like half a mile. <laughs> no. no. Looking. I wish she would give me a, a relative bearing. So that's North Head over there, right? Yeah, okay. North Head, it's North Head, yeah. Should I slow it down now? Yeah, you can start, slow it down. Alright, I'll get it way back so I can hit the flaps out. I keep the nose up. Velocity 1279, departures identified. Climb via city to flight level 280, cancel speed restrictions. Velocity to flight level 280, cancel speed, velocity 1279. And then once you're in the SE. One, one stage? One stage, yeah. Yep. Uh, Sydney Centre, Tango, Rome, Maintain. Reset 20 now. Uh, request clearance. Yep. Sydney, cleared to Richmond, Plain Route 6000, QNH is 1019. Okay, Victor, correction. Charlie Echo Zulu departures. Charlie Echo Zulu, go ahead. Charlie Echo Zulu, we do have a departure coming out shortly, so it is going to only have to be one orbit. Apologies. Okay, one orbit, no worries. Charlie Echo Zulu. Really good job. No worries. All right. Ah, uh, that's fine. At least. Oops. That's the. I lost my pencil. That's the naval base there that we're supposed to stay away from, right? Yeah. So should I start orbiting? So yeah, first a little bit to the right. Yep. There's North Sydney. And then we stay obviously on this side of the bridge. Yep. And 100 knots here, you should be able to make a tight turn. And stay on this side of the okay. Opera House. Yep. All right. So I should probably start turning. Yep. Yep. Beautiful. Uh-huh.
Fort Denison down there. Yeah. Yeah, good job with altitude keeping. All right, so we're turning back towards... Now a little bit up to the nose. North head. Well, he gave us one orbit. Oh, so we should I go three. I think if, we, if you want to be nice, then... All right, I'll go to the north head, yeah. Yeah, let's go to I saw what I needed to see. It's beautiful. All right. Okay, he will be happy with I don't have paying passengers. <laughs> yeah, well, you're paying. Yeah, well, that's true, but I'm happy with the flight experience. You've seen it. You can do it again when you have your license. Yeah, there you go. All right. So I usually go more towards Manly, and I hope that's okay. Why would we were you go nice. there? Charlie Echo Zulu, apologies for the uh, for the quick turnaround. Oh, no worries, Charlie Echo Zulu. What's wrong with them today? <laughs> it's good, they're being nice to me. <laughs> Alright, so this is Manly over here, isn't it? Yeah. So I want to call him when I'm approaching Manly and request to send to Victor 1, yeah. south. Yeah, so there's some time. Then you need to listen that you're good in reading that. So. 1279, contact approach 135, that's more than I got it. Should I do it now? No, 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 no. I would not want to. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. 72, cancel speed restrictions. Should I do it now when it's free? Whenever it's free, yeah. Yeah, poop, I'm too high. Charlie Echo Zulu is approaching Manly, request descent to Victor 1 South. Charlie Echo Zulu, maintain 1500. Once you're east of the coast, you're clear to leave control area and to Victor 1. Maintain 1,500 and uh, clear to leave after east of the coast. Charlie Kazulu. Okay, you're natural. It's good. So, I'll get to Manly, then go out over the water. And then I would actually start a little bit. Pull it down a little Turn to towards the east. Okay. American 72, turn left, I say again left, clear direct to Dipso. We are now 20 inches, left turn direct to and, and now just go east first. Charlie, can Zulu report established in Victor 1, please? Just say, really oh, report established, uh, Charlie, can Zulu. Sorry. Okay, so we've got 20, so you need to descend. Descend now? Okay. Yeah. So we are east of the coast. So now I can turn. Can. I should turn as well, right? Yeah, so, but now we're actually, while well, we're still in controlled airspace, I think it's okay if we're casting <laughs> space. Yeah. So, but you want to really descend. Okay, sorry. Because ideally, remember, we want to be at Sydney Heads at 500 feet. Oh, yes, yes, thank you. Yeah. So work on your descent. So 500 at least. 500 at least. You can dive a little bit. If you go more than a thousand, <laughs> I'll get grumpy. Okay. It's okay, it's not necessary. Oh, no. <laughs> I'll get my power back. Departures, good morning, 52 kilo on comp, 5,000 passing 1,700. So I report when I'm at 500, right? Can I identify cancel speed restrictions? Cancel speed, 52 kilo. And I'll say Charlie Echo Zulu is, Vic, is in Victor 1, established in Victor 1 at 500 feet. Victor 1 South. Victor 1 South, 500 Which feet. Which starts at Sydney Hits. All right. And good lookout for choppers here because we're not on frequency. We could have done that better, but I haven't planned it really with the American frequency. American 72, continue the left turn to track direct to Lord Howe Island. Oh, did you hear that? <laughs> uh, that's no good, is it? Lord Howe Island, that's great. So yeah, and you need to stay. Don't go into the harbor, yep. go left. And yeah, more power now, so don't undershoot. And also not too much power because it's bumpy. All right, should I call him? Yeah. Charlie Echo Zulu is established Victor 1 South, 500 feet. Charlie Echo Zulu, apologies again, and uh, control and identification services, terminated at Squawk 1200, frequency change approved, good day. Squawk 1200, change frequencies, thank you. <coughs> All right, now I should, uh, Victor 1, traffic. Maybe uh, 28 square, we're at Auburn at 1. South head, so tracking south. Via the Silverwater Bridge to join the Harbour Lane eastbound. Eastbound. 
Okay, I'm gonna call. Victor One Traffic, Charlie, uh, Piper Arrow, Charlie Echo Zulu is at uh, South Heads, 500 feet, tracking south on Victor One South. Charlie, uh, Victor, Victor One Traffic. Sorry. Okay. okay. Sorry, you need to go further to the left. So here's where you can't One do mile. coastal flying. Yes. So oh, there. Yes. Uh, okay. So I'm, I'm yeah. tracking to that. Yes. Yeah. Uh, ben. No, I think that's Ben Buckler, and I forgot. I forgot too, but uh, yeah, I know what you mean. Okay. Next talking is Bankstown, isn't it? Probably, yeah. I'm not that far ahead. <laughs> so here you rather look for traffic. Yeah, okay, you're right. We've got time. All right. And you see that's the westerly wind going over the cliff. Yeah. So the further out you go, yeah, the better. It I'm going to media 28, a mile to the west of the ride bridge, 700 descending 500 eastbound. Um, what speed are we doing? We're 120. Going, yeah, 120. So what's our turbulence penetration speed? Uh, is 122 or something like that? Am I wrong? No, what is yes, it? Yes, you're wrong. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> At maximum takeoff weight, it's 118. 118, okay, so sorry. So if we are not maximum takeoff weight, yes. so it will be way below that. Le okay, so should I get the power back, you think? Yeah. All right, yeah, it is a little bit bumpy, isn't it? So it's important for your test that I you know, know. One, 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 eight. I have to. I still have to study the V numbers. Yeah. I don't have a test scheduled uh, yet. That's okay. Yeah, because, yeah, the way it's going at the moment, I don't know if you can do tests at I, the moment. I know. That's the problem. So. Ah, don't use that. Oh, it shows Please. the route. Oh, fine, fine. Please. Yeah, yeah where, where could you possibly be? Just no, keep I your know, altitude. I know where I am. I don't know where it ends. I'm looking for Jibbin. I don't know where that is. Ah, I, I know it's around, the, it's around the corner. Just leave the map away. Right, I right. promise you will see where Jibbin. Have we passed the international airport yet? No. Uh, I know we're not there yet. I just yeah. want to know what to look for. All right. Fine. There's a big bay. You can't miss the big right. bay. Sounds good. Now we're at 106 knots. Are you happy with that? I'm happy with that. Okay. And 500 feet, super good. Full, so full here, I forgot the fuel change, but here I wouldn't do it. No. Well, I don't think we've been anywhere we want a fuel change yet. I mean, obviously, we could just make it to Marubra. That's uh, yeah. Marubra Beach, yeah. the long one. Uh, can you see that um, tower on top of the hill? There's a Telstra, whatever. Yes. Telecommunication yes, tower. Doug lives in the house just underneath. Doug does? Yeah. Oh, cool. Long drive. Yeah, it is. I wouldn't do it. Doug's happy to get up at 5 a.m. in the morning. Yeah, he's that I'm kind of not. guy. Yeah. And, and then he does a lot of road rage. He drives really fast. Yeah. I can't do I think it. Doug likes driving. Yeah, he does. Out of the drive to a bridge eastbound. Not sure when the fuel pump came on, but at the moment it's good to have it on. You're right. Um, I think maybe I forgot to turn it off. After yeah, I, take I have off. a feeling too. But yeah. anyway, Mark forgot in the test. Say what? Mark forgot in the test. I oh think no! I'm the bad influence there because I haven't really got yeah. a good plan. I know it's top of climb. Yeah, I, I even thought about it five, when I was yeah. approaching Paramount. Well, if you I remember, forgot. 400 feet. Fine with 400 feet. That's Okay. Triple A procedure. Okay, well then that makes it easier. Yeah. yeah, try to remember it. Quantity. Can you see the international airport now there? Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, no, right. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That's Botany Bay. Okay. And so, yeah, there are a few golf courses there. So, here I wouldn't touch. I would try to make it. Yeah. I'm a little bit high, sorry. Over there, that's fine. Yeah, you could land on that, no problem. Yeah, <laughs> yeah okay, <laughs> no problem. You could, you could, right? Yeah, yeah, sure. It's, it's perfect. Yeah. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's good. Yeah, but you could definitely make it. Yeah. It's 28, Southern Thailand, one to, uh, climbing to 1,000, checking the Rose Bay. 
Now, is that the huge bay with Jibin on the other end? Yep. So it's, oh. <laughs> so is, <laughs> is Jibin the, the south end? Yes. Okay. So no need to look at the map here. All right, I won't look at the map. It's all right. I got one more. Okay, one more, good. And then we're, then we're, we're in trouble. <laughs> no pencils. <laughs> The mask makes me cough. Yeah. <laughs> and then when I cough, I use the microphone and, yeah, yeah. sorry. Anyway. No, it's, it's fine. It's very quiet. Well, the harbor was busy because there were two in there, but yeah. it was really good timing. Yeah, that was and nice. So <laughs> I got a trip How to many times did he apologize to you? Oh, uh, at least two before. or three times, yeah. Okay, the only time I had that before was when I was flying with a Delta captain. Yeah. American, obviously, so yeah, yeah he, he just had that. You think the American accent helps? Yeah, I think that, so you might think that you're actually... A professional. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not. You should have heard my, my bad calls. Uh, well, these calls were really good. So some of them yeah, were, some of them were bad. probably thought that you're an American airline. I see. Oh, and, and, and I'm, I'm only down here once. the only time I yeah. heard them apologize before was with Alan. Oh yeah, and is he American? He's American, yeah. and, and he just has that phraseology, yeah. it's different. I see. That they use, I was cringing in Bankstown, but it, they recognize that yeah. immediately, oh, that's <laughs> It sounds good, airline. yeah, <laughs> I see. What kind of phraseology does he use? That I don't remember, okay. it was just wrong. <laughs> now, I am supposed to coastal fly in here, aren't I? Yeah, so okay. here you can turn in, and I suggest you do that unless it gets too bumpy, but yeah. so far it's good. And have a good look for airliners, because yeah, it, they come out over this way. someone, yeah, so that's where wake turbulence yeah. can hit you big time, and that's also mentioned in the URSA that yeah. you need to be Three careful. miles, six minutes, a thousand feet, that's what uh, I read. Yeah, very okay. good. Or uh, medium or heavy. Uh-huh. I guess A380 needs more, maybe? Yeah. I wouldn't turn uh, anywhere close yeah. to the A380 here, yeah, but a day. <laughs> we are safe, so see, you can see the runways from here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I could see how coming out, uh, a big heavy one coming out here would be a problem. Yeah, definitely, and landing. Oh, landing too, of course. to the people on the beach. <laughs> They're not even looking. They probably can't see you, can they? But they can see the aircraft, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I was on the beach, I would be jumping like, oh, plane! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you're a plane and nerd. you too. <laughs> Alrighty. Shall we, if there's any fuel change... Okay, yeah, now, we, now would be a good now time. It's All right. really as we got the fuel pump on. Ever. Yeah, it's already Watch on. Watch the flow fuel rate. Is good. Switching to right. Uh, yeah. Flow is still flowing. Pressure uh, is still it good. It's on the right. Okay, and we leave the fuel pump. I'll leave the fuel on pump on. For now. Should we take a reading? Uh, it's, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it uh, is what? Just below 30, 28, uh, and 18. So it'll probably be, let's say, 100 and uh, 18. 18. And. 190, okay, but then it's minus, minus 20, 170. 170. And yeah, we, okay. we left with 190, we said, okay. Yeah. So a little bit so that for noise abatement, so Don't have get too a, close, and yeah. 600 meters definitely distance. I don't know what 600 meters is, but. Neither do I. About that. It's a third of a nautical mile, I can tell you that. Aaron, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, so are we gonna we're gonna go back up? I suggest yes. Really, with the westerly wind, we're going to be battered at 1,000 feet there. It's and then getting over the escarpment and Shell Harbor already had gusting something. Okay. Uh, really. Okay, so I'll just continue the turn. Oh, there's an airliner coming in. Okay. Um. So yeah, but that, a thousand that, feet yeah, should be okay out over the water, fine, right? Yeah. yeah. And. We'll have a few minutes before we get there. Yeah, and he doesn't look too big. Okay. And uh, they must be on the... Are they on the cross runway? Yeah, Probably. I don't know. Can't be. Yeah, they're further away than I thought. On 3-4, anyway. Okay, good lookout for traffic, but I can't hear anyone. Now, I'm probably um, supposed to broadcast again. Almost spooky, yeah. Tell them that we're at Jibben. Jibben, yeah. 500 northbound. Yeah, and okay. It's, yeah, it's the one.
Victor 1 traffic, Piper Arrow, Charlie Echo, Zulu is at uh, uh, Jibin, 500 feet, tracking north on Victor 1. Victor 1 traffic. Yep. It's Jibin point, but that's fine. Ah, uh, sorry. But what's the altitude? Yeah. I have trouble flying at 500 feet over the water. It feels uh, a little bit low. <laughs> I think it's beautiful. Oh, it is beautiful, but it uh, also, I think I just instinctually want to move away from it. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, I wouldn't want to go lower. Yeah, exactly. I feel like we'll get splashed. Well, there should be whales, I was told. Oh, really? It's, well, it's winter, so they are migrating north. Well, I don't know what a whale looks they, like. They should have migrated. Well, you usually can see the blow first, oh, and right. then sometimes they come up, and if yeah, you're really okay. lucky, you can see the fin. I see. Or the tail. Okay, so we're going to pass the city and get back to Long Reef. Yep. Oh, God, Go I lost can. my third pencil. That's so embarrassing. <laughs> all right. Okay. Well, I don't have any well, pencils, otherwise, but I, we'll, otherwise, be all, we'll be all right. Otherwise, so far, you've done a yeah. really good job. I don't want to put my head down. No, don't worry about it. Uh, not that I don't trust you. But I don't no, think I, I don't think we need a pencil. It's all right. Yeah. But, but but I sorry I don't trust you enough <laughs> to put my head down. No, I don't trust myself enough. In fact, you keep your head up. I'm gonna reach for it. See if I can get it. Okay, I can take over if you're fine with me. Yeah, flying. you take over. Okay, That's fine. I've got it. Nicely trimmed. Fine anyway. <laughs> I can't Early reach down. far enough. Here we go. Try this arm. There are they. Here's one. Okay. I, got, I got one. I'm gonna secure it. <laughs> All right, I can take over. Standing over. Thank you. Okay. Well, just relax, enjoy the scenery, the yeah. city. I think it's it's one of the best flights in the world, probably. Yeah, it's beautiful. You can do. Maybe in uh, San Francisco it's good, and maybe Rio de yeah. Janeiro. I've done the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco oh, okay. in a of diamond. Of course you have. Uh, it's yeah, nice. it's like the one place I've flown in America. Okay. It was fun. Yeah. But it was like dusk, so it was good and bad. It was kind of beautiful at dusk, but um, you couldn't see very well. Oh. Well, it's a bit of a glare today too, and yeah. actually, well, last time we flew out it was morning too, so it can be easier to track the lane of entry. Because. And see, but. When you fly in the morning in winter, then you get that glare. It all yeah. looks very silvery, and yeah, uh, I don't know what it is. Not a lot of contrast. Right, because of the angle of the sun, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, uh, well, sometimes in the middle of the day, it's it's dead easy. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't say this is hard, but yeah. And yeah, at the moment, so. good time to relax and enjoy the scenery. And uh, then, yeah, towards after North Head, you can start thinking. Okay, sounds good. Let's do that. Come up with a plan. So yeah, maybe, well, okay, maybe it's COVID that keeps everyone away. Yeah, it could be. Can't do private hire. And I had the impression that Sydney Aviators was closed. The hangar was closed. I didn't see anyone. Oh, okay. You got a different policy. Yeah. This is a nice flight. I'm, gl I'm glad I got to do it. Thanks, Aaron. Yeah, likewise. <laughs> 
fun. It's actually yeah, my favorite flight around here. It seems like a, a nice way to use a restriction to the Sydney metro area. <laughs> Yeah, and it is educational because again, that's probably one of the first flights to do with passengers. Yeah, exactly. Now you know what to do. And I didn't catch that. They're at North Head, they said, I think. Oh, okay. I guess we're supposed to tell them, tell our position, aren't they? Uh, Probably. maybe once we're at Bondi. That's Bondi there, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Here. Oh, that's Kuji. Actually, I'm very sure that's Kuji. If you want to, so I'll say a beam Kuji northbound yeah. at 500 feet. Okay. Yeah. Victor One traffic, Piper Arrow Charlie Echo Zulu is a beam Kuji northbound at 500 feet. Victor One. Victor One traffic, RV7, do the Yankee uniform, south head, south by 500 feet. Victor One traffic. 500 feet, really? No, what I see is uh, higher than that, so it can't it's not be. Them, yeah. Did they say they were helicopter? I couldn't hear. Sorry, Aaron. Yeah. I hope they that understood was, me. Uh, it, I was just trying to figure out what accent that was. Sounded Irish or something. Yeah, something. Is this a cemetery? Yeah. Big one. Nice location for a cemetery. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I think that's probably why they put it there. Yeah, for the rich dead people. Uh, oh. A little bit high, sorry. Uh, it's okay. It, it is bumpy. All right, I see that helicopter there, but I don't know who was talking to us before. All right, he's not at 500 feet, so I don't know what's wrong today with the one that we spot up to the Yankee uniform. And I can't understand any calls. Yeah. I don't know. But it's definitely loud enough, it's just... Oh, shit. There they are. There they are. Maybe we should be further out. No. Yep. Negative, they should be a little bit further. You think so? In, yeah. yeah, okay. But it was good that they were not a little bit further in. Well, uh, yeah, they should have been a lot further in. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that was definitely them. Yep. There's the bridge. So that's North Head, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. So that's South Head. So they're the entrances to the harbor. This it makes a lot more so sense from the air. Yeah. I see. So I'd say you just broadcasted your position. Otherwise, I would do it here, approaching uh, South, south Head, head. Okay. from the south. But yep. don't worry, you've just broadcasted and it's not that busy. I wonder if that guy treated me well because I said I had uniform. <laughs> you said most people don't do that. Yeah. But then did you hear another call? He actually said two POB, so... Oh yeah, I didn't say that. I should have. But no, it's really... On the other hand, you really want to keep it short. And short yeah, it's in the flight plan. Here. It's in the flight plan, too. Yeah. So, yes, the, the correct call is... POB, and I think it would be silly to say VFR <laughs> because we <laughs> sure. can't do a Harbor Scenic IFR. Sure. What would be the point anyway? Uh, yeah. And, well, it's not an IFR flight, it is. So if you ever go through Richmond airspace, they definitely expect all the correct Two POB, POB information. Yeah, otherwise, they ask back. And okay. Military. Uh, it's not not big drama anyway, but yeah. Are they are they nice or no? It depends. Okay. <laughs> there was a woman there for a while who was reasonably friendly. Actually, last time when I went with Vivian, that woman was on and she was super friendly. So I would go probably a little bit further out, so you're on the right side. And also, it, it <laughs> prevents uh, to, yeah. to, to get in that rotor. Yeah. That's the wind from the cliff. Yeah, the you, cliff, you yeah. were able to predict it. Good point. Good, good, good point. Yeah. So is that long reef there? 
Yes. Okay. So that nose that sticks really far out. Yep. So we can... So now here you can be, that's the 1000 step here. Yep. So if you want to, yeah, I would like can to start yeah. climbing. Yeah. Let's do so that. Let's climb to 1000 then. Yeah. Right. And then can you do the uh, minus 180 on your last? Yeah, I think I can. Um, so, so two long reef was 096, so that would be 276. Does that sound right? Yep. Oh, it's west. West, <laughs> you anyway. know me, it's the big picture. Yep. Okay, 1000, level up. Thank you, thank you. Just paying attention to the other thing. All right. Yeah, and you can uh, straight away pull the power back because we really don't want to accelerate too much. Yep. And here you can start leaning. Yep. And oh, now full rich here. Okay. Trim it a little bit. All right, so there's Long Reef, and we are outside of... Uh, well, it's 2,500 oh, feet. Wait, past Long Reef. What past Long Reef that, at 2,500 feet? Buffer. Yeah, but what I mean is we can climb past Long Reef, right? Yeah. Okay. Past Long Reef, you can climb. Yes, that's and what I mean. And if you want to, we can go to two and a half. All right. Or put that in. So that lake there is Narrabeen Lake. Yep. So that's so you want to stay on the right side of Narrabeen Lake. Yeah, and then there's the high temple sitting on yeah, top. Yeah, I see it. And the that radar ball. We're supposed to be on your left, so stay a little bit further. Left of the, the high right. temple, right of the lake. Okay. Ah, see, I the route I planned was to the left of the lake. To go over to Saint Saint Ives. Yeah, but see, it's it's really visual flying here. Yeah, sure. You don't okay, that's fine. Let's go. Right of the lake, then. Yeah. Wait, th this lake or it's that one? That, that's this. Narrabeen. That's pit water. Okay. This one. Oh yeah, yeah, right. That's okay. Narrabeen. Have oh, a I quick look at the map so you learn map reading. Narrabeen pit, pit water. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. It's so much bigger on the VTC than the yeah, WAC. I know. It can be confusing. Yeah. All right. So I'll set up a climb. So we are past Long Reef. Yeah. yeah. You can set up a climb. Now, we're leaving Victor 1, so we should probably get on to City yep. Center, right? Yes, very good. All right. Cool. And then once we're on top of farm, you can deal with the radio. I wouldn't do it right here. So now you do two things, look for traffic and farm. Traffic. So if you would just do a Victor 1, and when you come out here, uh, you usually report overhead narrow beam, okay. right? And it's northern beaches traffic. Northern beaches kind traffic. Of, uh, local so should knowledge, I do that? But no, no right. I don't do it. Because there's nobody around. And you usually do it on the way out. And it is quiet, yeah, and you do that on the area frequency. Oh, you do on the area frequency. Yeah. Just like remember when you come back or yeah, when you go. Lane of entry, yeah. Yeah, lane of entry traffic, so this is Northern Beaches traffic. I see. But you don't think we should do it today? Nah. Uh, alright. Unless you really insist, but. Um, no, that's alright. Sydney Center, good day. Helicopter Oscar Alpha Sierra advising attention. Oscar Alpha Sierra, Sydney Center. Let's go Alpha Sierra, uh, Bell 206, we're conducting power lines. And yeah, maybe stay a little bit below. That's 400. Let's do a bit of a buffer. Let's go Alpha Sierra. Let's go Alpha Sierra, and are you going anywhere near Wilton? Negative, uh, approximately uh, 8 to 9 miles uh, north of Wilton at this point. Uh, Oscar Alpha Sierra. Oscar Alpha Sierra. All right, so there's a Baha'i Temple, that's that one, yeah? Yep. Okay. And there's the radar. Yep. Uh, and we're going west, so I'm happy. Good. So we just fly to Parramatta, the, no, Hornsby, sorry. Yeah, Hornsby.
think it, we expect 12 minutes to Hornsby. It's 2-5 now. How much headwind do we have? Is it 20 knots? Oh, yes, so it'll be a little bit that, longer. Yeah. yeah so uh, a little bit longer, but you know, did you say 12 minutes? 12 minutes. Yeah, okay. I think that's right, isn't it? So yeah. then, for the next 12 minutes. All right, I'll just. You can I see what you mean. I'll just relax. Almost, yeah. And relax. I'm higher than I should be. And then you need to be a little bit careful that you don't overshoot the line of entry because then you're in Richmond airspace. Okay. But Hornsby is fine, right? Yeah. Yeah. And you'll see the railway line. And so, so the first thing that we cross. Oh, which one will do we cross first? I think first the railway line and then the uh, Pacific Highway. Uh, it looks like it's the other way around. Okay, Pacific well, Highway. Is whatever. East. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, I'll look for both. Yeah. So before we see that, we are fine. But so now that you're fine and relaxed, now you can work a little bit yeah. on the radio. So all right, we got COM one uh, here, but we uh, it'll be yeah, Bankstown so you can next. Swap that over. Followed by. Yeah. Uh, Round and here, this is fine for city. Yeah, and, and I would just send a little bit so we don't keep climbing. Yeah, sorry. One two zero yeah. decimal nine for the ATIS. Yep, good. So you can get it. Two zero zero. Yeah, ready. And this is. Oh, I can't do that right now. Yeah. Oh. I think I'm gonna have to. Oh, uh, just relax. It's fine. For now, yeah. And remember, yeah, when you do it, I, I didn't, you were really quick, so you need to go on standby when you're punching the numbers. Even though it's a digital one that uh, it doesn't complete until you, oh, I guess if you make a mistake. Okay. Yeah, because if All you right. make it, so yeah, if yeah. you don't, if you stay on out, yeah. uh, you're not supposed to do that because they can see you then punching in the numbers. And as you said, if you get it wrong and if you put okay. the seven in, then all the alarm bells go but I understand with the uh, the knob ones, you definitely yeah. shouldn't. I think with this one, if you get it right, it's probably. Yeah. So if you if you just toggle in between one thousand two hundred and three thousand. I get it. Yeah. That's fine. Stand by three four three four. But if you punch out. it in, yeah. go to stand by. Thank you. Yeah. I've only punched it in once before. <laughs> it's exciting to have my my very own transponder code. Yeah. So you know, right, that's Kuringai National Park. Yeah. Really pretty, and I believe that's Cottage Point. The, the houses the over there. there. Yeah. There's some boats around. Okay. Sydney Centenary Port of Alpha Traffic Climb 4000, remain outside class, Charlie. Alpha 4000, and then remain through Charlie, probably 26. I think we're. Uh, further north than we're supposed to be. We're supposed to be between the power lines there. Okay, but I would stay rather to the right of that because line. Of rich, uh, yeah, what because is it, of Richmond? No, the, uh, no, because of oncoming Charlie. traffic. So uh, we stay a little bit to the right of your route. Oh, I see, okay, yeah, And yeah. then it's less likely that you hit someone. I see. I've climbed again. I need to Good morning, Singapore, 7295. Okay. We are climbing 9,000 by the cut of one. And I see that big road there, that's Pacific Highway. Is it? Yeah. Well, what else would it be? Yeah. So this should be... But there's a huge road, so yeah, yeah, the main road out of Sydney. Well, that means we should see the railway line soon. Soonish. So now, yeah, it would start looking... There's, that's Hornsby over there. Green, green roof, hey? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think is. we really are yeah, pretty far are. north. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Good one. I was right. <laughs> Hooray. Wait. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, but we need to stay on the right. See, there's yeah, two I'll go dotted over. lines, yeah, so yeah. we need to go further. Okay, we're going to take the lane. Okay, yeah. yeah. We take the lane. There's a... So we're looking for the Dural oh, tanks station. over there. Yeah. Yes. Hornsby beyond that, then the Dural tanks. Okay. There's Hornsby. Yep, well spotted. Um, but yeah, so we need to go a little bit further. So 
over past the creek. We are pushing 9,000 Singapore, 7295. And then I suggest we past the creek. Two minutes, I've expected two minutes, right? 7295, roger. So the south zero, because we were a little bit north, so we should probably look to the left for it. Yeah. And so these new high-rise buildings there, that's Castle Hill, so we need to stay on the right side and see the distance there. I can see Prospect. Can you see Prospect at, uh, where were the G? Yeah, I see it 10? there. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so just go around the right and head for Prospect. Okay. Yeah. And we can, we only need to descend for Prospect. We're, we're, we're legal all the way at 2500, aren't we? Yes, on the right side of the lane. On the right are. side of the lane, yeah. Now, do I need to make a call when I'm joining the lane? No. <laughs> no, I wouldn't, but maybe other people would. Okay. I hope I'm pitching you the There's right thing. There's a transformer because, there. Yeah. So I would start turning left here, and I just saw the strobe light. So yeah, turn left, definitely, because that's the, yeah, the um, Galveston substation, I'm pretty sure. Yep, there it is, yeah. So if you overshoot that, you'll be very between, soon between in. Between that and then, okay. Which one, can you see the, the I'm looking, Oh, there it is, yep. Yeah. So, so that's okay. your waypoint. Go for it. So we go, that's a prospect we're on, on yeah. track, yeah. yeah. And you can see prospect there. Yep. Tango, Romeo Papa, Mittagong, Sawatch is 10 minutes. Um, I would start a shallow descent right. here. Apollo 26, just for information, there is a Cessna 210 crossing from your right to left. There at 5,000 feet in class Charlie Air Space. Such a good radio voice, uh, air traffic controller. Yeah, she does. Very relaxing. Very, yeah, and it's so clear. Yeah, clear and relaxing. In contrast to these people on Mission One. Yeah. <laughs> so annoying. Oh, that was really if bad. You can't. I mean, part of it might be that they were low and we were low. Uh, uh, no, I don't, I don't think know. It's valid. It's obviously also their radio might yeah. not be so good in the old aircraft. Yeah, I hope that Sydney Center has a good radio. I would hope so. Yeah. yeah. I hope they have backup radios too. I bet they have. Yeah. Because yeah, if anything goes wrong there, then all hell breaks loose. Exactly. If they have a fire or whatever. Yeah. There must be backup. Plans. There's got to be a backup somewhere. Yeah. I don't actually know where they are physically. Uh, they're close to the international airport in the old tower. Ah, okay. That would make sense. Oh, that brickstone building. When you go from the city towards... Uh, on the 26, the traffic just crossing over the bound now. Contact us. Uh, Saucy C. Approach rather, 135 decimal line of the airways clearance. Uh, 30 Polo 26, uh, sorry, can I take a quick thing? Polo 26, it's 1359. Yeah, 1359, Polo 26. So these houses, it's really good that they built these high-rise buildings yeah, because easy. when you're at the beginning of the lane on a day like this easy you can see, see them yeah. and then you just stay slightly to the right and yeah, you'll that's useful. be at prospect so that has helped a lot navigating yeah. along the lane that's castle hill you said castle yeah. hill towers right Those who don't undershoot always anticipate yep. I am. 50 yeah. feet. Yeah. That's what I'm hoping to do. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry, I didn't actually see that. You did it so slowly, which is great. I did it slowly, yeah. Very good. I think it's all right. Okay. 10.8. No, you didn't undershoot. And we should get the ATIS in, uh -huh. in now, you think? Yeah, all right, no. get it now. Two nine right, four rivals and departures, frequency 132, decimal 8. Two nine left for circuit reading, frequency 123, decimal 6. Two nine center news.
Wind 280 degrees or 1 2 knots. Cap OK. Temperature 1 6. QNH 1 0 On first contact with Bankstown Ground or Tower, notify receipt of information, Charlie. Charlie. Charlie, and so wind is straight down the runway. Bankstown terminal information, Charlie. But you can do your update. Yep. Alright, uh, get on Bankstown now. Yep. Alright, so the ATIS is Charlie. Procedure, we're going to probably go into joint. Hold uh, for Bankstown Tower, hold for position. Pro we still got Gupta, going to join uh, cross, sorry, downwind for 2-9 right at 1,500 yep. feet. Thank you. Uh, landing straight down the runway, maybe slightly to the left. Uh, engine. Yeah, so take that with your power settings, take that into account. So yes, you're right. you can turn a little bit earlier onto base. Yes, oh, because of the, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Remember the Robin, the diagrams yeah. where... You yeah, look, I remember. Yeah. Sorry, you're talking about the wind, yeah. Yeah, I'm talking um, about the wind. Sorry, now I'm thinking about the transponder. I'm yeah, going to need to do, do this. Yeah, go to standby. Standby and then, VFR is still, okay, so three, zero, zero, zero. Yeah, oh, okay, that's out. Okay, Very good. Okay, and that was the T of the applet. Yep. Now, where is... Thanks, Tan. I'm so confused from this angle. Just go, yeah, go straight. Be and then here, when so you're be around there, there you need to, you know, the Liverpool high rise buildings. Yeah, so, so the be. first thing that you see uh, when we're past Prospect is um, Warwick Farm. And you can actually already see it. So, Liverpool. There's Warwick Farm, so it should be over the there. Left, yeah, right. Okay. To the left. I see. Yeah, but it's good that you're thinking about it. <laughs> I remember I once came with a student who was already actually cleared for his pre license. Yeah. And I just did a recency flight yeah. to Cessna. We came here and he tried to convince me that Bankstown was straight ahead. Oh no. So we're going past Liverpool and I was like, ah, oh no. Eight, look at the look at your heading. Then he had already thrown everything in the back. Oh no. He's <laughs> like, are you sure you're ready for the test? <laughs> okay, I'll shut up now. But we've got some time. You see that water tower uh, that in the trees? That's the inbound reporting point. Where is it? Water tower. So there's the lake. Yep. To the left. Oh, that water tower. Yeah. yeah. I always thought it was the quarry. Close enough. Uh, it's, it's pretty close. close. Yeah. It's close enough. Yeah. If you take the quarry. Yeah. I usually do it just before the quarry. Yeah. Actually, these days I usually use two RN, but. Okay. Okay, we're on the right frequency, all good. All right, I'm going to do it now. Yep. Thanks. Well, we depart up wind, runway right, here for takeoff. We have a takeoff for runway right, depart up wind, XO Romeo Bar. Thanks, Sound Tower, Piper Aero, Charlie, Echo Zulu is in down at Prospect, 1,500 feet with Charlie. Charlie, Echo Zulu, Bank Sound Tower, join down wind, runway two, nine, right, maintain 1,500. Join down wind for two, nine, right, maintain 1,500, Charlie, Echo Zulu. So you always have a really good lookout, although no, Gupta would let you know if there was anyone else. Good old Gupta. This is the mic, uh, tower. Yeah, this is the just inquiring where we are communicating with another helicopter on the right bridge area on 120 decimal 8. That us? I'm on 132 decimal 8 uh, and just approaching Chopper's North. Uh, the uh, it's all the helicopter, not on base for the main pad. Full base, any chance I can get runway center? Negative. Just confirm you were communicating with another helicopter around the right bridge area on frequency 120.8. That's a weird That was us. I mean, we were on that desk. Okay. Zulu Mike, uh, what was the call sign of that helicopter? Sydney is just wanting to know. Uh. <laughs> I don't remember. I just came from Ride Bridge and there was no uh, other traffic there. Zulu Mike. Zulu Mike, did you got? I wouldn't know any call signs. Brace. I guess we should wait to do the gear, huh? A little bit, yeah. yeah. That's good that you're thinking okay. about it.
You're comfortable, you can do it on downwind when you're cleared for visual approach. I'd rather do it a little bit yeah. early, that's all right. Because sometimes, you know, if it gets busy, yeah. then you get cleared very light. And yeah. I think I should do it now, better. is that all right? Yep, I'm right. turn a little bit further to the left. Mike, main bed, did land. Try 13, 1,500. Full brakes, and we're within. Yeah, 95, full land, full land, full land. Station, prospect inbound, second, the call sign only. Swing it at 8. Sling 880, turn down into 22 and a right, maintain 1,500. Alright, I'll make my downwind call now. Hey, you think it's too early? Alright, I don't know when you're supposed to do it exactly. 30 seconds. Well, you know the circuit. Yeah. That would be a really wide circuit. A lot of people okay, fly of course, wide circuits. Yes. Okay, if you want to. It's I'm going to do I'm joining downwind, I can say. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Charlie Akazulu, downwind. Charlie Echo Zulu, cleared visual approach on rear right, number one. Clear visual approach from my right, Charlie Echo Zulu. It's okay, so 20 inches and... Um, could be a tailwind. Yeah. Yeah, you're doing well. And so remember that patch of grass Doug told me. Yep. So the if cricket. it's a straight tailwind, yeah, yeah that gives you the right spacing, even in the air. this is about right, hey? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well then don't undershoot. Don't undershoot. This is a little bit off. I'm not gonna oh, fix okay. it. Oh, okay, sorry. You know what to do then. I think so. Looking good, yeah, I can see the 1000 now. Well, okay. that would be too early, so yeah. a little bit. When you can see the threshold, it can put in 15 inches, not yet. I can see the threshold now. Okay, so 15 Thank inches. 15 inches. Hold the nose up, yeah. Alpha yeah. Range for an upward departure. There we go. Okay, I'm Victor Fox to Charlie, departure oh, for the nose. right, need for takeoff. So oh, that we start uh, descending. Up in Drumway right, clear for takeoff, Victor Fox Trot Charlie. So there's traffic, but the, well, hopefully no one's overshooting. So turn a little bit earlier yeah. than you usually do because you're still used to the robin here. Yeah, okay, I'll turn now. Yeah, shallow turn and then you just intercept and set a third stage of yeah. flap and put the nose down yeah. because... I hope you agree that it looks a little bit Yeah, high. but there's a headwind, so I wanted it to be high. Okay, okay. I okay. could be maybe too much. Yep. Pitch, undercarriage, flap. Yep. Okay, I see what you're doing. Yeah. Maybe you're right. I'm not sure. Charlie hey. Kozulu, runway right, clear to land. Clear to land, runway right, Charlie Kozulu. Okay, if I'm puff, good. I still think we are a little bit high. Yeah, so we're definitely high yeah, now, sorry. Definitely put the yeah. nose down, yeah. And ah, 18 notches. Okay, so. Hold that nose down, otherwise we will, we will run out of yeah. runway. Yep. All right, that's a little bit better, isn't it? Yeah. 78 knots. Okay, so don't round out yet, don't round, round out yet. Okay. Uh, that Thank was all of that. Now, Claire, 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 Oh, I see. But there's Mike. Mike all looks clear. I'll take Mike. Can't get the flaps. What's going on? There we go. Flaps. Don't worry about the flaps. Just Fuel. yeah. Fling at eighty down. Frequency. Fling at eighty. Landing light. Transponder. 
Thanks on ground. Charlie Echo Zulu is clear from my right. Request taxi to parking at November. Charlie Echo Zulu ground. Taxi to park. Taxi to parking. Charlie Echo Zulu. Where is Mike Romeo Charlie? No, Mike Charlie Romeo coming from. Wait, wait who's, is that Mike Charlie Romeo? Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. Okay. Is, uh, I guess that's Misty. She said she wasn't going to go. <laughs> she always said she doesn't go on yeah. her feet. <laughs> As you go, it hurt. <laughs> Let's see. I'm surprised he oh, told... It's, but then James also fly... Well, it could be James. Oh, it could be James. Oh, he was standing out there with Doug earlier, looking at the uh, plane, so I don't uh, know. He was getting it ready, so they are competing at the moment. I for, see. And Misty's oh, maybe really Misty had the later slot and is worried about the afternoon. I, when, I think, yeah. yeah. And, and I would be worried, too, because... Well, she's got, she got time. It's fine, all right. Right now, yeah. she could do it. Oh, actually, yeah, what's the time? Ten forty-five. 45. Yeah. Oh, what did you did you put a star time in? Yeah, uh, fourteen hundred local. Okay. okay. Plenty. Aaron, that was so good. Thanks so much for taking me yeah. and uh, for confirming that you you've got this under control. So yeah, if you fly fun. like that with Pete. Uh, okay, good. Uh, station calling ground was able to see me. He's always got something to complain about, but that's all right. Yeah, will you? That's his job. Yeah. But just be confident because the last few flights were fantastic. Okay. That's great. Thank you. What a weird plane this is. The Catalina. Yeah. Uh, it's I so actually, funny shaped. I like, yeah, I like no, the, no, I, I think it's right. cool. It looks, yeah. but it really looks it's like something from a, a shame. I wish, silent movie. Yeah, I wish someone with a lot of money would buy it. And yeah, they should sell joy flights on it. Yeah. All right, I'll take the other way. Person's coming up. Yeah. Uh, Unless they're parking. Done. I have no idea why they're going. Oh, maybe they're, they're parking. They're so slow. Yeah, I think they're parking. All right, never mind. Yeah, good. I'm just worried about the pits, but... but. We can wait if we have to. I haven't asked Pete if Anthony's coming today, but while he wasn't there in the morning, so yeah, I don't I think he's coming. Him. I haven't seen Afghans for weeks. He oh, Poor really? dog, yeah, yeah. He loves coming here yeah, so he much. Does. He's, it's so funny how he like plops himself down under the airplanes. He's, he's just yeah. like... He's a he's a flight dog. Oh yeah. Aviation dog. Oh yeah. Well, with that name. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's true. <laughs> he's writing his name, isn't it? A good name for a dog. Yeah. It's definitely different. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Especially for an energetic dog. Well, there's Misty. I guess it wasn't her. Oh, there's Pete climbing out. Uh, look for any smoke signs from Pete. Uh, just slow down. Uh, he doesn't look at us. <laughs> he seems to trust me, but then whatever, I don't know <laughs> what we're I mean, supposed we're to do. Just, right? yeah, yeah, go right. go on the left side and then along that crack in the concrete. Yep, sounds good. Um, Get these towards, people to move out of the way. Towards Misty, yeah. Yeah, they'll move. Yeah, Misty should know to move. I don't know who's with her. <laughs> uh, is that Tim? It looks like... No. I don't know. Is All right. Well, I guess we'll, we'll just wait here and... Um... Uh, you reckon I should pull up further or just shut uh, down? Yeah. No, yeah, just shut it down. So okay. radios are already yeah, off. Yeah, radios are uh, off. Uh, what am I doing? Mags at 900. Yeah. Uh, just Tim. All right, 1100. Make sure. Off and key out throttle. 